All right, well, time to ruin my day. Yay! Um, hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everybody. My name is Shannon L. Shook, uh, and welcome to the final episode of Anohana, the flower we saw that day. This is episode 11. Um, so, yeah, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, because, you know, I, b before, with previous series where I came to the finale, I could usually be like, well, maybe I'll get through it fine. I'll, pr I'll probably be okay. And then I get proven wrong. Um, it, 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 there's, I've had enough evidence, um, both with this series as it is in general, especially with more recent episodes that have actually gotten me to really fucking cry rather than just suffer in agony on the inside. Um, I am going to, this is going to end up like most finales and just probably be an escalated version of that because it's so, so, so like I'm, I'm going into this. I'm expecting to turn the episode on, maybe be able to talk for like the first three, four minutes, and then I will probably go silent for a, for a short amount of time, and then the entire rest of the video will be me crying. Um, because that's how finales work for me, and considering it's the sad show, trademark registered and copyrighted, um, it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna be a little worse than that. Um, so anyone going into this expecting to have some witty commentary, some deep philosophical discussion. Don't, you're just going to see a man cry for about 15 to 20 minutes, probably. So it, um, there's your warning there. Uh, I'm not historically known great for having very good outros for final episodes. They usually boil down to, I don't know what to say. I have to go and die now. So that that's generally how it works. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Again, perhaps with just an escalated version of that because Anohana um means family. No, it doesn't. Um but point is yeah, so if this is your first video of mine, um that's what you have to look forward to means you don't have to deal with the really obnoxious side of me, but you do have to deal with that. Um, <clears throat> but it really isn't that what you're looking for. Uh, anyway, so yeah, episode 11 of Anohana. What happened last episode? Well, we officially committed to the, well, one of us committed to not doing it because he was going to sabotage and then failed. But uh, so we officially committed to getting the, the fireworks all done up and completed and fired off. So as to send Menma off on her journey um to hopefully a better place uh and but and that didn't happen i mean the fireworks went off but she's still there and i bawled my eyes out so again it's things like that that makes me scared this next one's gonna really hurt um so yeah i don't i don't know how this is gonna go but i don't feel optimistic about it um I just want them all to be happy, man. And I don't like my chances for it, to be completely honest with you. Um, so that's cool. Um, before we do get started, I do want to mention that there is another poll, uh, as for what to react to, um, and whatnot in the description. Obviously, we have Bunny Girl picked out to start up next week after this, so we don't need a replacement for that. But Ruby is going to be ending in a couple weeks, uh, like two or, two or so weeks. Um, so we're going to have a show to replace that. It's a big ass poll. And so that we don't have to do another one right away after that. Um, it'll also be used for our replacement for re zero and, um, plastic memories as well. So we won't have to have another one right away. We can just use this one as whatever the top three answers are. Those will be the three shows that we pick for Ruby re zero and plastic memories. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, as I said, just a second ago. Bunny Girl starts next week. Um, so cool there. Um, 
can you tell that I'm trying to buy time? Um, <clears throat> Psychono started yesterday, so that's awesome. Shoutouts to happy, fun time shows that don't make me want to die. At least not yet. Um, and um, starting next week as well, if you guys saw, starting next week, um, we will be starting a Let's Play series um, on Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1, um, which will be running on Tuesdays and Thursdays each week. So... I think that'll officially mean that the only days that won't be doubled up on videos will be will be Wednesday. I think that's the only day that won't be doubled up. It'll just be Psychono on Wednesdays. Which now that I know that, part of me wants to be like, well, then throw something else on there. But we can't do that. That's dangerous. I already am just running myself thin. Uh, <clears throat> there's never enough time in the day. Um, anyway. So, yeah. Um, there's all that that's happening. And I've officially run out of things to buy time with. Um, so we're going to jump into this. And hopefully uh, you guys are going to be okay with what very little I'm going to be able to give you. <laughs> because this is probably going to hurt a lot. Um, anyway, really glad I decided to save this for after Grisaia. Because there's no way it would have been that happy and fun time if I if if, if not. Um, so anyway, we're going to start it in three, two... One, go. God, the end of last episode fucked me up too, didn't it? Oh no, they're skipping the in. Oh fuck, that's never a good sign. What's up, little man? What's up, you two? Oh, sweetie. What's up, my man? What's up, everyone? Fuck. You, 
You good?
Oh, fuck, that almost hurts more than the fucking crying does. Oh, God, stop.
I'm fucking really starting to hate this song.
fuck you, glasses. Fuck you. I told you it was going to be the same fucking thing, Ellen. I don't want to say goodbye to a man. Just, I just don't. Like I said, I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't gonna have anything. To say, I don't know what the fuck I would. He's not anything more than that. Just, I don't. I'm just so fucking happy that they got to say goodbye. Fuck, I sound like a fucking three year old. I just. <sighs> I'm just quick. I'm just happy that they got that. Um, so the rest of this video is just going to be going over um, channel stuff, I guess. I'll um, try and get my shit together for a final thoughts video. And then I'll actually talk about everything else. But um, for now... Um... Like I uh, said, I, uh, there's another poll going on. There's um, Bunny Girl Senpai, which is going to be starting next week. And um, same with Neptunia. Um,
I really, really, really uh, liked this show, even though it hurt a lot. Um, I, uh, I talked about it a lot throughout the whole thing, but it didn't even really make me cry a lot until towards the last couple episodes. It was mostly just... <laughs> It was that bittersweet melancholy I kept talking about. Um, because I just, I loved them. I loved them all. And, um, and I just wanted them to be happy. That's all I wanted. And um, it hurts knowing that they are. And it hurts knowing that I just want to hope and believe that uh, she she managed to get her uh, her other wish. She gets to come back somehow and. <laughs> Well, I hope. And I hope they all manage to figure out what they got to figure out. I want to say thank you guys uh, for watching. And, um, and I would uh, say the usual outro stuff, but I just, I can't right now. I just need to fucking, so. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go and um, tell everyone in the Discord that they were right and uh, that I want to die. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And even in that, that end, it is profoundly bittersweet because I am screaming and happy on the inside, but I am dying on the inside as well. It's again, it kind of had that same, it's the same thing I got with Suka Suka and Frank's is it had a, prof they both had profoundly beautiful endings that hurt a lot. That made me so happy, but also make me want to fucking die. <laughs> Fuck, even uh, No Game Zero had that same thing, even though it was a movie and not a show. The show didn't do that. <laughs> it's just a fun time. More happy fun times, please. This, uh, tried to keep a lot of happy stuff on hold this time. <laughs> Yeah, I will uh, see you guys next time in whatever video that happens to be. Um, as always, I, I would really love to hear. Um, uh, I, I would like to, to hear who's sticking around for the future and who's leaving, because I always like to at least be able to say goodbye to anyone who's not sticking around and to those who are sticking around. I'd love to keep meeting you guys and talking with you and enjoying all this stuff with you so as always if uh if you guys are uh whichever one of those two categories you guys fall into um i would i would love to hear it and uh again thank you guys so much for joining me on the series and um through this fucking thing um I am going to stop recording for the night, and I'm going to lay down, and, um, yeah, and I'm going to buy that fucking Menva figure, because, because I'm gonna.
So that's that's my this could be my send off is I'm gonna buy that fucking Android because I just need to see that smile again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, toodles, doodles, and lemons. Again, that's always such a weird fucking outro to do when I'm crying. Allow me to say two of the dumbest fucking words in existence and then top it up with a joke about fruit that no one understands. And also about sex, because that's that it's a it's a joke about lube. Um, so how about bye guys? And then I top it off with that, which is also not a word, but it is dumb. So it's I I mean I think Menmo would approve because she'd be into that kind of shit. She'd be into some I'm not saying the lemon thing. I'm just I'm saying the do the doofy words. That's I'm gonna stop now. Thank you guys. I cannot make jokes when I'm crying. It's not good. Bye.